So before we get into MIDI signal flow, MIDI events, and setting up for MIDI recording, I want to give you a quick start guide to getting started with MIDI recording in Logic. Even if you know nothing about MIDI recording at all, you should be able to follow along with these two quick start videos. So when you open up a new Logic project, it'll prompt you to create a track. For MIDI recordings, you'll want to choose either a software instrument or an external MIDI track. And most of the time you'll choose software instruments unless you happen to be working with hardware synthesizers. So for this quick start, we'll choose software instrument. Down here are some additional details you can select for your new software instrument track. You can choose an instrument patch to start with. Right now it has default patch selected, which is just an electric piano. You can choose one of several different software synthesizers within Logic, or you can just choose an empty channel strip. That's what I'll do here. You can select Open Library, which will automatically open a library of instrument patches for you. And then down here you can choose to create multiple software instrument tracks. For this I want two instruments, so I'll type in two. So I've got my two software instrument tracks here, each with their own volume, pan, mute, solo, and arm for record controls. Also, any changes you make to these on the track header in the main window will also affect them in the channel strip in the inspector. You can also adjust the zoom of these tracks manually, or you can adjust the vertical zoom slider over here. You can also adjust the horizontal zoom of the timeline here as well. Press Command up or down on your keyboard to zoom vertically, or Command left or right to zoom horizontally. If this musical typing keyboard comes up, you can hide and show it with Command K. What this does is it allows you to use your typing keyboard as a MIDI controller. So I'll hide it for now, but I'll bring it back up in a bit to audition some different instrument sounds. So this whole area over here is the library. For software instruments, this is a sound library that allows you to select pre-made instrument patches. So when you select an instrument, say this Bosendorfer piano here, it creates an instrument patch on your selected software instrument track. This instrument patch can include preset MIDI effects, the software instrument or synthesizer itself, this one uses the EXS24, which is a sample-based instrument, audio effects, and bus sends to send off to pre-made aux tracks. To audition this instrument, you can pull up your musical typing keyboard again with Command K and select the track you want to audition. And make sure that the arm for recording button is selected, although typically Logic will auto-arm the software instrument track you select. Then you can play a few notes on your typing keyboard to audition the instrument. If you want to reset the channel strip, you can click on the top tab of the channel strip here and select Reset Channel Strip. I'll find a synth pad patch instead, something a little more ambient sounding. Let's try Synthesizer, Pad, and we'll try out this Airways patch. Alright, that sounds good. In the next video, I'll show you how to start recording.